Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tina Tianin, and you're watching the Tina Tianin television program. Today, we're going to learn how to cut a pineapple. Now, before we cut this pineapple right here, we're going to learn why you want a pineapple in the first place. Well, let me tell you. Simply stated, pineapples are amazing, they're fantastic, they're good for you, and they're cheap and delicious. Why do you want a fresh pineapple? Because a fresh pineapple got all the nutrients for you, and you get more fruit and it's cheaper. Did you know that a canned pineapple loses most of its nutrients? The brolamine is destroyed in the process of canning. You do not want a canned fruit, you want a fresh fruit. So that's why today we are going to learn how to cut yourself a fresh pineapple. Did you know that half a cup of pineapples every day can help alleviate osteoarthritis pain? That's powerful. Pineapples are high in vitamin C, rolamine. They got all kinds of delicious things. They got vitamin B1, B6. Let me look at this list. They got, they got, they got um, manganese. They got copper. They got fiber and folate and pantothenic acid. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Okay, enough with the southern. Was that southern? I hope so. This stuff is amazing and it's the only edible roller made in the world. Amazing. So this is your source of brolamine right here. Let me know if I'm saying brolamine wrong. I, I don't know. I don't know how you say it. Brolamine, brolamine. I don't know. But it's good for you. I know that. So anyway. And did you know for your health down there, ladies and gentlemen, if you have a funky, fishy odor, pineapples, man, have a pineapple. Pineapples can help reduce fishy odors in the area for men and women. So go ahead, get yourself a pineapple if you get funky. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Give your lover one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't let them watch this and then give them one. They'll be very mad at you. Don't do that. Just sneak it in their food, okay? My advice. Pineapple also discourages plaque in your teeth. Pineapples are great if you have a cold. They relieve mucus in your throat and they're high in vitamin C. So if you think oranges are great, you should try pineapples for your cold. People who suffer from sinus allergies Pineapples are for you because they can help reduce your symptoms. And when you cut the top of the pineapple off, if you live in a warm climate, you can actually plant it, kind of like a sweet potato. There are cats behind me. I look like a cat woman. Is your machete blade dirty? How about your boat deck? We'll just mix some pineapple with some sand and you have a great cleaner that'll clean those machete blades right up. Isn't that gorgeous? So these are happy, friendly little fruits that you want to be your friend. So let's learn how to pick the perfect pineapple. To start, smell it. Does it smell ripe and tropical and delicious? If so, your pineapple is correct. If it smells foul, eh, drop it. A pineapple will not get any sweeter if you leave it longer. As soon as you pick it, it stops ripening and it doesn't get any sweeter. So go ahead and eat it right now. It's as ripe as it's gonna get. Thank you. If you can pick off one of the top leaves easily, then it's ripe. Also, check to make sure that all of the eyes are the same size. And the more eyes it has, the sweeter your fruit's going to be. A general rule for fruit is, when it starts to visually rot and spoil, that's when it starts losing most of its nutrients, but not up until then. 
A pineapple can last for up to six days in the fridge, maintaining its nutrients. Now, the color does not matter one bit. Also, you want to make sure that none of the eyes are blackened. If they are, that means it's past its prime. You want one that's heavy for its size. That means it's going to be sweeter. Now, we have a beautiful, delicious, ripe pineapple ready for the slaughter. <laughs> Did you know that a pineapple is actually a bunch of little fruits all clustered together in a colony? It's not just one fruit, it's a family of fruits. Isn't that cute? It's a whole bunch of little tiny individual fruits. Each single eye used to be a flower. And now it's all one big fruited family. <laughs> Now that spells family to me, folks. Does that spell family to you? A pineapple is like a family. It's a family of little friends hanging together to be one delicious fruit. Can't we all be like that, ladies and gentlemen? Well, let's cut this family up and eat it. Let's go. Alright, before you cut your pineapple, you're going to want to put it upside down for 30 minutes in the fridge, if you can. I like to just take this little metal thing and uh, put her upside down like this. You can find any way that works for you. This is how I do it. So you just set it like that. You let it be upside down for 30 minutes because most of the sugars like to settle towards the bottom of the pineapple. If you put it upside down before you cut it, then all the sugars are going to disperse and make it thoroughly sweet. We'll let that rest for 30 minutes. <sighs> so now that you've had your pineapple upside down for 30 minutes, we're ready to cut it. So, simply begin this version by cutting the top off. Alright, so now we have the top off. We're gonna also cut the bottom. Like so. And then. Cut the little nasty notches off. Now, instead of throwing out these little pieces, you want to compost these. Because when you throw out fruit, it doesn't always rot in the landfill. Sometimes it mummifies because there's no air and stuff. So put these in the compost so you don't waste all these nutrients. And instead, they're going to return to the soil and give you nutrients for the next generation. Good idea. So now you cut it down the middle. And down like that. You can cut them even more. Now you can keep these cores because these are good for smoothies. It's a little bit thick, so most people don't like to eat the core, but you can use the core of your pineapple in smoothies. It's got lots of fiber and it's good for you. So now you have all of these little boats, and you can cut these further into little strips. And then you have nice little pieces of pineapple. Um, mm, 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 mm. I got pineapple juice in my dreads. I don't care. Mm. This is dinner tea island. Talking with my mouth full. I'll see you next Wednesday. Oh, God, you have to show up for you. You can't see me. Bye. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. Uh, I love pineapple. Mmm. Mmm. This is a good Mmm. Pine me pineapples with me.